And welcome back to more of Hyrule's Resurrection. Now we're gonna go to another mini dungeon in this part. Yeah, ice physics are gonna be real friendly in this place. <clears throat> Alright, you wanna start by going down. Before you go back to the start, you can actually uh, continue on the lower right corner. And I'll take you to this little dead end corner that you, know, you saw as you were going on the raft. So don't forget to pick up that small key. I'm not sure where this music comes from. I uh, don't you know what game this comes from, so just kind of drag a complete blank. <laughs> yeah, it kind of sucks that you're going half speed on this. They don't lose any speed. Yeah, we'll just leave that magic jar there. <clears throat> okay, this room, I think you actually have to take out all the pea hats. So this thing get kind of annoying. Just gonna have to wait for them to stop. So if you don't have sword beams, uh, arrows will be your next to best option, at least for fastest results. And the ladder is being a little bit picky with me here. Not much in this room. Look at that, look at the ladders being really picky there. I, mean, I do have level 2 bow, so I can pretty much snipe away. Yeah, it's kind of annoying to do that, but I'm gonna have to pick up that small key. Now, this isn't that obvious to see, you know, you would just go back to the start, but you can actually go up from here. Not sure how you're supposed to know that. You know, use up a, your keys in this little series of rooms. boss key, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. <clears throat> uh, after that point, this place is actually kind of linear. Luckily.
luckily it's only a 5x5 five five grid, so it's not too intimidating. big jar there. Alright, so you want to go up first. through this little whirlpool. <clears throat> Take you onto a little side passage. And this will take you to that key that you saw on the way when you're going on your raft. That's a different lock, you need the boss key for that lock. So hopefully you got it at the beginning, otherwise you gotta go all the way back to the start to pick it up. Then you'd notice you'd probably have extra keys. Oh goody. Yeah, one of this reminds you of anything, huh? Any boss music would be like uh, super Metroid music, but even just the boss you're fighting is uh, it's like what Link to the Past, like those marble statues, and then the marble sprites and stuff. Now, luckily, you have some <coughs> safe spots you can stand on as you swipe away at these guys. Down to two, uh, you want to try to get rid of one of them so that you have that type of position. Give yourself some space to work with. And just kind of move it around the perimeter or whatever you want to use so they'll just keep missing you so you can grab some free hits. And 
your reward for this is Silver Arrows. And there's nothing else to do in this place, so you can head right to the exit. Okay, come on, you land me right there, huh? There's not much else to do in this area. Now, this might be kind of difficult to figure out where you need to go. No, that's convenient, just warped right there, huh? Actually, there's a lot of stuff I could do right now. Uh, I might actually save it for later, actually. be very obvious what to do now because you know you have silver arrows and just what do you do with them <laughs> actually I might as well go into this place. can't use anything, all you have is a flute and some enemy bait that you can use, so not very helpful. <laughs> so what this is, is just you trying to quickly rush your way through these rooms. And uh, yeah, this is kind of why you want to maybe wait a little bit before you go through this. could do this early on in the game, but it's a little bit risky, <clears throat> given that you don't have that many hearts and uh, you see the whiz robes there, basically you get accidentally get hit by a blast and you're <laughs> game over. <clears throat> Here I, you know, I have a little more room to work with. And unfortunately, I can't use my feather, which that would have saved me a lot of trouble. Luckily not too hard to recover life. Plenty of hearts out here. Now you may have explored this screen at the beginning, but you probably forgot all about this. Unless you made notes or something. Because this is where you use your silver arrows. And that's very easy to miss. Trying to think of, um. If I should keep going up or not. I oh, might as well keep exploring a little bit. Okay, now you got the actual fire arc the rocks.
some extra money. You go into this cave, and you get Pharaoh's Wind. That's kind of useless, and it's pretty much the equivalent of using a F6 continue, I would think. But you might as well, well might as well pick it up. <clears throat> pretty much it's free. I think this is more money. Yeah, I think that's a hundred rupees right there. Another little scrap of money there. That's if you can actually step on the eyeballs, because they do move rather quickly and you can't stun them. At least not with your boomerang, I don't even think Hookshot would stun them. And here's where you can buy some super bombs. And there's a reason that this shop sells super bombs. Because you will need you'll need it for the next level, actually. And some more free money right there. Biggest bomb bag, and not even close to enough money for this. Even if I collected every secret in this area, it wouldn't even get me close yet. So I'm just gonna have to make a note to come back to that later. Sure, why do you put that many targets there? And I think all you know, you need silver arrows to hit these targets as well. All right, so we go into this uh, kind of cave that's, uh, I guess, submerged with water or something. Level 6, uh, the sunken palace. Uh, yeah, um... I probably, uh, have 
don't have quite enough equipment to go through this place, but there is something I want to pick up in here. And that will help me out in some collection. Alright, so I'm going to take a break at this point. And uh, next part we'll at least do part of this level. Uh, again, I want to get the item in this place to get some goods. Alright, see you guys later.